Hi guys, welcome to Chosen Explosions in Time Prophetic Revelations. My name is Evelyn Brooks. I received a word from the Lord on July 28th that I'm going to share with you right now. Um, the title of this word is Beauty for Ashes, and I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. My children, receive my yoke upon you. My yoke is easy, and surely my burden is light. The yoke of your enemy is hard, and his burden is oh so heavy. Cast off your chains and take upon yourself my yoke. My love for you is great. Why do you struggle so? My ways are perfect. My love constrains from death. My yoke establishes justice and holiness. My yoke brings peace, joy, and wholeness. Everything your heart desires is found in me. Can you trust my love for you? Does a good father not give good things to his children? Do you not know how much I love you? My yoke constrains darkness. It constrains pain. Beauty for ashes. My ways are perfect. Trust me. Follow me. Obey me. Every good thing comes to those who joyfully take my yoke upon themselves. My ways are perfect. My love for you is perfect. Amen. Thank you, Lord God, for that. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Lord, we thank you, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We know, Lord, that the devil wants to put all kinds of chains on us. But, Lord, when we obey you and follow you, Lord, there's life. Lord, there's life, there's freedom, there's joy, there's every good thing from heaven. Lord, we thank you for it, God. We praise your holy name. Father, I just lift up your people right now, Lord God, your children, Lord, that God, Lord, I know that, Lord, that you have a remnant that's red hot on fire for you and that's chasing hard after you and following you, God, and obeying you, Lord God. But, Lord, I know, God, that there's, there's also many, Lord, who claims the name of Christ, but, Lord, they go on about their business. They do whatever they want. And, Lord, they do not even care what you think about anything, God. And, Lord, they're so ignorant. Ignorant, Lord, of your ways that they don't even know that you care about what they do. So, Father God, Lord, they just continue to go deeper and deeper into the darkness and, and just covered in dark ch chains of darkness, chains of, of torture and oppression and depression and every wicked, evil thing, God. But, Lord, we just lift those up to you right now, Lord God, and we ask you, God, Lord, that they would awaken, Lord, that God, that they would have a holy encounter with you, God. Lord, that they would see you and know you and know the truth and be drawn to that light, God. And, Lord, that, yes, Father, that they would take your yoke, God, upon them, Lord, which is, is so light, is, is such a blessing, God. God, to Lord to be constrained by you Lord God because we're constrained from the evil of this world Lord thank you Father God for your constraints help Lord those Lord God that that have not taken your yoke have not taken up their cross and followed you God Lord help your people Lord Lord help your people Lord to repent those that are walking in darkness they claim the light but they walk in the darkness Lord help them to repent of their evil ways Lord God to take up their cross to surrender their whole mind their heart Lord their their actions their thoughts their words to surrender to you God and to just to take up that cross to take that yoke upon themselves Lord and to truly to be free to truly to be free, Lord. God, we know that your yoke sets free. Help your help your people to get that. Help them to understand that. And Lord, those that are in the valley of decision, Lord, that have not chosen you, God. Lord, we lift them up to you now, God, and we pray that a, a great harvest of souls will come into your kingdom, Lord, Father, that they would encounter your love, Lord, that they would know how great you are, how good you are, and that they would be drawn to you, Father. Lord, we thank you for that. Lord, I just, right now, Lord, I just speak a blessing over your people. Lord, I just speak a blessing, a blessing, Lord God, of every good thing from heaven upon your people. Lord, let signs and wonders follow them, God. Lord, let your light shine 
through them, God, to draw others to you, Lord. Lord, let them be blessed in their relationships and blessed in their finances, God. Blessed in their health, Lord. Blessed coming out and going in, Lord. Let them be blessed. And Father, I thank you for that. I thank you for that, Lord. I just bind the enemy in their life. And Lord, I ask that you would just take over more and more and have your way. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. I thank you, Lord. Praise your name. He's such a good God. Amen. He is such a good God. And uh, the yoke that he puts upon us, if we will receive that yoke, it brings forth life. It brings forth blessings. It sets us free. It's really not a yoke at all. It is, but it's not. It's a yoke that uh, that sets us free from uh, to the chains and the bondages of the devil. And Lord, we thank you for your yoke. Amen. We thank you for your yoke, Lord. Well, guys, um, a quick announcements. You know that we live stream on Friday night. We invite you to join us if you can. Um, Christopher does daily bread five days a week at 6, 6 or 6.30. I forget which one. 6 o'clock, I believe, a.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, Monday through Friday. And, uh, guys, Friday night, uh, no, not Friday night, Saturday Saturday afternoon, we are going out, and we're asking anybody who will to do this with us. We're going out, and we're praying over our city. We're going to go wherever God leads us. I'm sure that we'll go to the schools and to the government buildings and to some neighborhoods and maybe some parks. I don't know where all we're going to go, but we're just going to go out as a small group, and we're going to pray, and we're going to ask God to come and to invade our cities um, to have his way. We're praying. We're fasting for 40 days for, um, for an outpouring of the Spirit in our own lives first. And uh, because we want to discipline our flesh, we want, to, uh, we want more of God in our life. We want the fullness of God in our life because without him, we can't be a blessing to people. We can't help people. We can't set people free. We can't do mighty miracles and works of God. Um, unless unless he's flowing through us and uh, and he is flowing through us and we have his anointing and so do you but we want more we want a greater anointing to do greater works the greater works that he said that we would do in these last days we want to see all of those come, things come to pass we want to see the dead raised to life again we want to see great and mighty miracles and uh we know that that's the will of God, and so we're committed to fasting and praying. We want an outpouring of the Spirit upon our cities, upon our nation, upon the nations of the world. We want to see this more than than anything, because guys, that's what's gonna that's what's gonna uh, push back that darkness. That's what's gonna bring. Uh, new life. That's what's going to bring people into the kingdom of God and set people free from the chains of the devil. And uh, so we want to see that. So if you will, maybe just you in your car or or, or your uh, your husband or wife, your children, uh, people from your church, uh, whatever. And I know we should. I should have been talking about this more. We have been talking about it on Facebook. But I haven't really talked a whole lot about it in the videos. But it's not too late. You know, even if you can't gather a crowd, it doesn't matter. Just go out to your city and pray over your city. And invite God to come to pour out His Spirit upon your churches in your city. And pour out His Spirit upon the schools. The kids are going to be going back to school soon. And uh, just praying over your city and uh, inviting God to come and to have His way. And uh, if you'll do that with us, we will just greatly appreciate it. I wish that we could have an army of millions, and maybe we'll make this a, um, an annual thing or even more than an annual thing, maybe once a month. I don't know. We'll have to pray about it. But just getting people to come out and pray over their city and uh, just release the blessings of God and stand in faith for your city. Amen. Well, guys, I love you. We're praying for you here at Chosen Explosion. Um, and we'll be talk I'll be talking to you again really soon. Bye bye.